exterminator? Do you smell that? Do you smell the haunting fecal stench coming from the basement? I mean, it's like an animal died in my walls and then resurrected itself just to keep dying on me. Of course, <laughs> this happens. The morning that my West Coast assistant decides to go on maternity leave, I'm supposed to be boarding a jet plane to Berlin. What? I know you. I know you. No, no, you recognize me. From high school, Judy, right? We went to South Orange together. Oh. Well, I, I, I go by Brandy Moon now, actually. Oh, Morgan Yardley, still go by that. We were in choir together. Were you the girl who got her jaw wired shut sophomore year, but still came to rehearsal and just sort of hummed? Hell yeah, get in here. <laughs> oh my god. Um, no. So are you like um, famous or important or something? Yes. I'm Randy Moon. I've had four number one hits on the Billboard Pop Electronica charts. My single Winter Pussy was just in a Chrysler Sebring commercial. It's the December of my body, and my veins are full of ice. Cool. I, I don't really follow music, but um, I love Chrysler's. OK, well, what, what about you? What is your life? This. Right. Exterminating. Yep. I uh, specialize in large grain vermin. So, you know, your raccoons, your opossums, your squirrels. I was originally going to be a vet like my dad, but the exam for vet school is hard. You got to know, like, all the animals. But then I found exterminating and it just clicked, you know? I'm basically a death doula for the animal kingdom. <laughs> Look at us! Two South Orange alums crushing it. <sighs> Well, the shit stench is coming from down there. On it. Oh, it's bats, yeah. Got an infestation of Western red bats. You know, I actually live a few streets over. Great. Right above the uh, half store on Claremont. And it's this whole YouTube channel about how the Earth's crust is basically, me and my ex have this understanding. I really messed up my left calf muscle. Divine. Nice. All done. Oh, you're bleeding. Oh, uh, hazard of the job. Uh, what, what do I owe you? Oh. Number, I don't know. I love that. Morgan was there, Kim. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hi, um, my... Oh, God, uh, roommate. The doctor will see you in room eight. No, I don't need a doctor. By your face. No, I'm here to see my dad, Claude Yardley. I just got a call that he went into cardiac arrest. Have a seat yeah. and a Band-Aid. Nurse will be right with you. Yardley. That's, That's me. me. Papa, your life is a testament to what it means to truly love. Mm hmm Yeah, love, testament. Who are you? Not the time. What is happening? Whoa, 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 Morgan. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you're both very confused. I'm just going to say it. Here it is. I'm going to tell you what happened, OK? OK, I'm just going to say it. Just say it. I'm just going to put it out there, OK? I'm just going to I'm going to tell you what it is. This is, oh, God. OK, here it goes. You two, Papa. you. Papa, you don't need to explain anything. All that matters is that I love you. And I love you. And I love. What? If you're gonna do it, at least be sneaky about it. It's just cuckoo to have a whole secret second family. Why have two separate families and then give the kids the same names? Isn't it bizarre how different the two families are? Oh, yeah. I mean, this family's so accomplished. The other family was so trashy. The mother's a sculptor. The wife was a garbage woman. The son teaches at Yale. The son's in jail. And the daughter is a veterinarian, just like her dad. 
Mm -hmm. Well, I heard, not that. I heard clones. I heard the dad had access to secret cloning technology and he had one family and he cloned them because of love. So maybe tell people that, maybe spread that around. Oh, I brought this uh, pigs in a blanket, dad's favorite. <laughs> Are you kidding? Papa was a vegetarian. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. The doctor said meat was literal poison to his system. Morgan? Yes? He means me. That's my husband. Um, I heard you're a veterinarian like dad. Mm-hmm. And you're an exterminator. I mean, I don't know that. I just heard. Yeah, I, you know, basically kill animals when people find them annoying, so it's, it's cool. How fun is that? Morgan? Yes? Oh, still me. <laughs> Are you married? Um, no, but I do have sex with my ex-boyfriend every couple weeks, and <laughs> he knows my body, but he has bad credit, so I don't need that weighing me down. Yeah. What? It works for me. No, it's your face. Oh, um, excuse me. Uh... Look at me. I'm a vet, just like Papa. The vet test was easy for me. I know all the animals. Look at me and my husband. He's always calling my name from other rooms, and I love that. I just flushed a dead porcupine out of an air conditioning vent. <sighs> but the other Morgan probably brought a porcupine back to life or put cat fur on a burned up manatee. Shut up. Dad preferred her. You know it. Maybe you should exterminate her. You mean like murder her? No, I don't know. I mean, fuck her shit up. Spray some pesticide on her lawn or put a dead squirrel in her car. Well, I'd go pass them over a squirrel because they smell more when they die. But no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Spending time with the only daughter I've ever cared about. <laughs> Morgan. Judy, what are you doing here? It's Brandy, and I was just leaving a thank you for killing my bat, sorry your dad died gift. I heard what happened. Did you hear there's another better Morgan? Right. Well, in that case, it's a thank you for killing my bat, sorry your dead dad had another family gift. Well, don't worry. I talked to my Instagram, and I decided I'm gonna spray pesticides all over the other Morgan's lawn and dump animal shit on her porch, and I think that's gonna be very healing for me. Sure, sounds like a logical fix to the deep emotional problem you're grappling with. You know, you don't seem good to drive, so why don't I take you? Okay. I'm gonna give you a compliment now. Okay. The other day, when you were exterminating the bats in my basement, I think most people would be embarrassed to be you. You know, encountering someone you went to high school with who's all stupid rich and famous now with a hot ass nasty bod, and you are a lowly animal garbage man. I don't think you know what a compliment is. <sighs> Morgan, no. What I'm trying to say is that you've always been this weirdly happy person. I mean, I remember it from high school. You uh, march to the beat of your own drum or whatever. And hey, it's a weird beat. Yeah, it's kind of like bam, 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 b
at other beats evaluating yourself. Until now, with this other Morgan. Yeah, fuck her. Fuck her. No. Fuck your dad. No. He fucking, s what? No, my dad was like, bad. He was, he was bad. He was. Or, okay, at least he made bad choices. And I just, I don't think that those bad choices should make you think less of your life. Because from what I can tell, you like your life. Okay. Goodbye. But this is my place. Yeah, I don't have that other chick's address. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You like me. Um... You, you got a happy life. What? You know, I've known about you since I was 14. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, had this, I had this cello recital, and I saw Dad sneak out early, and so I followed him. <laughs> and he, it turns out, he was like going to some karate competition of yours, and. And I saw him hug you, and I was like, what? It's weird. Is dad friends with a child? But no, I, that was you. Um, and from that moment on, everything I did was about beating you. You got into field hockey, I got into field hockey. You learned Spanish, I learned all the romance languages. You got into 3D puzzles, I designed 3D puzzles. You're like obsessed with me. I'm kidding. But you did it. Congrats, you outdid me. Oh, I did. Yeah, totally did. But, but you're the happy one. All these years I've watched you make this small life totally oblivious to me. And I thought there's no way she could really like her life that much. So way. But then I come here, I figured I'd see it up close, find out you'd been faking it, how much you love it. But you're not. Yeah, I'm not. But um I think you should get to like your life too. I just, I just don't think it comes from trying to outdo me or anyone. Yeah. Morgan! Yes? He means me. It's my ex-boyfriend. Oh, I can go. No, uh, no, it's, he's fine. I'm, I'm kind of over him. <laughs> and maybe we could hang. Sisters. Half-sisters. Okay. <laughs>